I often see a short video on TikTok, Instagram and YouTube where someone makes a light bulb for a glass jar and pencil graphite. Because the internet is full of fake videos, I had to try it myself to see if it really works. And anyway, real light bulbs are expensive. The idea is simple. We connect electricity to the graphite. The flow of electricity make it hot. It gets hotter and hotter until it starts to glow. And glowing means it gives off light. In this video, I don't use the inside of a regular pencil. I use a 0.7 mm graphite stick made for mechanical pencils. I tried using a normal pencil core too, but the result was terrible. The resistance is too low and it lets too much electricity pass through. As a power source, I use an old welding machine on the lowest settings. In these settings I measured 35 volts. First I tried heating the graphite in open air using the welding machine. It worked. The graphite glowed beautifully and gave off a lot of light. But in a few seconds it burned up because it touched the oxygen in the air. You can clearly see that the graphite becomes thinner when it glowed. That's because the glowing graphite reacted with the oxygen and turned into carbon dioxide. In open air it can light up for about 10 seconds. If we stop oxygen for getting to the graphite, then it won't burn and the electricity can't heat it as much as we want. That's why I light a candle inside the chair before closing it. The candles burn until there's no oxygen left inside. When the candle turns off, that means the jar is sealed and there is no more oxygen. Now we can start heating the graphite. There was a small problem. The lid of the glass jar was a bit springy. So I added a special wooden piece to support the graphite holders. Now it's as stable as the Hungarian forint. But even after this fix, more problem came up. Many graphite sticks explode right after turning on the power. It turned out the graphite sticks are not all the same. Their resistance is different. So an early test failed because of that. I found out that I need to choose the graphite with the highest resistance. The ones with low resistance explode right away even in a non-oxygen environment. But the ones with highest resistance glow nicely even with oxygen. I also did some open air tests to show the effect. And then comes the first moment when it was clearly that the setups really works and it gives for of real use for light. Later I was able to run the setup for several hours when using a battery as the power source. So not evening you see on the internet is fake after all. I tried connecting more than one graphite stick in parallel. Strangely, using two or more sticks in parallel makes the light work longer. This is interesting because connecting them like this lowest resistance, but somehow it worked better. Now I want to say something important. The next day, after many experiments, 
Both my hands and my face were red and burned. ChatGPT told me that glowing graphite gave off light in a wavelength that it's bad for the skin. In one test, I used 8 graphite sticks with 35 volts and over 30 amperes of torrent. That means my home and the light bulb use more than 1 kilowatt of power. Of course, most of that becomes heat, not light. Let's look at the bright side. If run it at 1 kilowatt with a welding machine, it okay. can even heat a room. And feel the wax inside the chair catches fire, the glass breaks and everything burns down. I test with 4, 6, even 8 sticks in parallel. The best result come for 4 or 6 sticks. You can see it well in the video, but once it heat up, it's really bright. It makes night look like day. It lit up my workshop and the yard with no problem. I also believe it, it give off a lot of infrared radiation. I say it is because I could feel the heat from far away. I just hope I didn't damage my eyesight. But in the end, it works. And if the heat wasn't so strong, I thinking I could light up forever. Now, if you got, please subscribe. If I reach 100k subscriber in 2025, I've been an opera extra for my friend. Thank you for helping me reach these two dreams. If you like the video, please hit like, leave a comment so the algorithm see my awesome content and show it to millions of people so I can buy a Porsche for my YouTube earnings. Talked for now, I can't even access that money. My country's stupid laughs make it impossible to legally receive it. But if I finally get my hands on the YouTube money, I will make some huge YouTube projects. Especially when I run with a 12 volt battery and just one sticks, it works very nicely. It's not very powerful like the welding machine, but it's much safer. It doesn't get so hot and I could ever touch it after a while. It only used 3 ampere. So that's 36 watts. In one test, in workout for one hour straight, then I got bored and stopped.